Touch. Touch. Pause. Engage. The William Patterson rugby team, I feel, is is probably the greatest greatest team. It's just, I don't know other way to explain. We smash mouth, hard paced, hard running rugby team. We fight hard. We party harder, and it's just awesome to be a part of it. On the field, off the field, I mean, you don't really know what's gonna gonna happen. Well, rugby's really changed my life. Uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. I have to say, I owe a lot of my life and who I've become as a man to rugby. It's just a way of life. Rugby is a way of life. Really, the sport brings out the person inside of a lot of us that none of us has ever seen. Rugby as a whole, it's just the community itself. It's, uh, it's really awesome. I mean, most people know how to play football. I mean, most people have played hockey in the street when they were a little kid. Rugby's something completely different. We're a family here, and family's key. The companionship, the brotherhood, like, I, I can't, like, uh, this among all sports, I think, has such a, such a, like, tight bond, you know, with players on and off the field. You're going to battle with, with these, you know, these people like your brothers. So, uh, and I think that really shows in, in all of us. Uh, my name is Brian Obara, and uh, I'm the founder of the rugby team, I guess you could say that. How, how I got into it and all that, um, I guess it was just like a, a like spur of the moment type thing. I was just looking for something to play at the time. Uh, when I was in high school, we used to play rugby for fun. One of the first things I did is that I started a group. I started a group on Facebook for rugby, right? And uh, just sent invites out to see like who who would be interested in school to play, and that's how the first that's how I got Bill Hoffman. You know, he was like the first person to respond like he's interested in playing, and his brother used to play. Yeah, so I met him. I went to his room. We talked about it and discussed like how we're gonna put flyers up, how we're gonna get like other kids who want to play in school, and then you know start going through the motions with the administration to get the team started. And that was pretty much the beginning. About 2003, um, probably a little bit before that, uh, Brian O'Barra, uh, native to Kenya, had uh, started up the, tried starting up a team and I was trying to work through the, the issues that the school was giving him and going through paperwork and going to meetings. And, uh, and I joined up with uh, him and he'd also recruited uh, Bill Hoffman, also known as Clay Aiken. What we did, like, we just come together, like me, Bill, uh, my roommate, his name is Bob, and we just walk around school, you know, looking for anybody who was interested in playing, you know, and uh, that's how we got in contact with John Russo. You know, we just met him, he was coming back from the cafeteria, you know, and we're like, yo, this dude's eating a lot of food, he must be, <laughs> you know, like a good player. Like he would be looked like a good player, you know, like someone who'd be interested in playing and all that. I was just on my way to to go um, get something to eat, and Brian had stopped me with uh, Bob and uh, Kenya Bob, and he goes, "Hey, you want to play rugby?" You know, and I'd I'd wrestled and I'd played soccer before that, and I like you know, I like contact sports, so I said, "Yeah, sure," and I started, you know, joining up with North Jersey. He had no idea. He knew. He knew nothing. He's like, I don't know what rugby is, but I'm interested. You know, that's it. He's like, he just like, as long as it's like a sport, and it's fun. That's what he wanted to know. I was like, yeah, hell yeah, it's fun. You know, so he he came aboard, and then now once we had the three of us, and we just kept on pushing and pushing, getting paperwork, and then we were able to get numbers together. One spring, we played for a North Jersey men's club. We played as their B-side. Um, and that's how we learned how to play and, and got numbers out. And, you know, the following fall, we started as a really big. One, uh, one of the sad points for me was that, like, we, uh, the process took a long time. And then by the time the team came, you know, I was already, like, that was my last semester in school. So actually when we did get the team like everything is good to go there was only like two games to play 
and then and then that was it for me you know so that was sad but then like in overall I was like I was so happy you know like to see the team and we had choosing colors you know the the kit and like how the uniforms going to be and all that stuff but it was great so uh with starting the team uh I can say it was not easy we had a lot of ups and downs you know trying to get the school boards sports administration to agree to the team there are a lot of setbacks with like our constitution they kept on wanting us to change stuff and uh they said that rugby is rough i got need in the face and the insurance is going to be is not going to cover it but then like other games have just as many if not more injuries you know so we kept on pushing and we never gave up on what we were looking towards you know we always kept on saying no matter how many times they shoot us down we're going to keep coming back until they see that this is something that the school want to have and eventually it came to be that you know that they agreed that this is something that they could have in school and i'm sure now they're proud of it now that it's, it's winning everything <laughs> Brian was looking for a coach, at, you know, because the school wanted us to get a coach before we could start going. So he went to, he looked online, he found North Jersey Rugby, he went to their practice, he asked about coaches. Um, they said, well, we, we really don't have anybody right now, but while you're getting going, why don't you guys come out and practice with us? And then I just ended up, like, going to practices. I started going to practice and I started playing for North Jersey. Actually, after one week of practice, they put me in a game. You know, and then after that, I just started playing for North Jersey Rugby, and then we started playing with Bill and John, and that was great. So now, just like in school, we were still trying to push for the Willie P team, but then on the side, we were we were already playing rugby and getting our skills polished and all this. So it was a great process. We gotta communicate, dedicate two people, deep, short. Those guys are they're like really great guys, you know. Apart from letting us play with them, they had dues in their team and like trip fees and all this, and they would not we would not pay for anything because we were young and they just like come along and you guys just train and you know like up your rugby skills while you're still trying to do the school thing. And then they would help us with like information on like the unions that we can be in and like what type of insurance we'll need. So that's what we did. And uh, still, you know, still now, if um, we're at, they're at a tournament and they're short guys, they always invite us to come. They invite us to come to uh, benefits that they have, dinners, um, and they've been uh, really good with the team. They they help coach. They they they'll they'll watch our videos. They'll they'll point stuff out to us. Um, and actually, we have two coaches uh, from North Jersey. 